at Kika Day who's excited. You look gorgeous, princess, for your special day. How do you feel? Excited? I have my thing. You do? Oh, you have to give Sophia one to wear. Okay, Auntie Re, Re Auntie Rose, everyone is on the way there. Um, Auntie Afish is already there, and Grandma's almost there, or already there. Oh no, they left the same time, so they're probably there together. Oh wow, there's people here already. <laughs> they're waiting outside. Uh oh. Just pull up there is right in front. Oh no, my scarf. What? It's coming off. Try something here, y'all. I'm itching your victory. Yalla Habibi, are you enjoying the food? Very good, very good. MashaAllah. Allahu Akbar. for like another hour. No. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All you guys just put the camera in six minutes. Aww. You got good ones. Aww. Seven minutes. I get you two? Oh, okay. Liam. Liam. Look at that camera. Liam. Papa. Like, we can close it at two. Yeah, yeah. So like give it another hour. So like we can take like 15, 20 minutes. To sit yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, two o'clock you can get get rid of appetizers and then set and up. Like by two fifteen. Yeah, minutes, yeah, like yeah. Make. That's fine. That's fine. We're not in a big hurry. Yeah. Thank you. Everyone's enjoying the food. Yeah, the food's good there. Yeah. And the service is good. They're good there. Yeah. Oh, by the way, 
What's his name again? Your son's name? <laughs> Arsalan? Arsalan? Huh? Amir. Where did he go? Dad. Dad. So this is Amir. Amir, this is Esso. I, I guess I didn't introduce them. <laughs> I know Arsalan for sure. <laughs> I can't take a picture and record. Like my phone, I could do both at the same time. Yeah. You can run it Play-Doh will come in handy because I figured they'll get bored. Yeah. <laughs> and then they'll start wrecking the place. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> I need an egg. The dinosaur egg is this gone or it's... Oh, it's a whole yeah. thing. I was like, yeah. they put one by one. <laughs> no, no, no. It's attached. It's like the same one that's hanging on the oh, okay. feathers. This is our crew. <laughs> this is cute. Let me get a picture of them. Hi, Sophia. Hi, Mom. Wipe it off. Wipe it off. Wipey wipey. Clean it. It's stuck on you? Clean it. Keep wiping it. If you would fit in it, I would lend it to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everybody's here, right? Yeah. Almost everybody, but it's okay. We'll get started. Dad, just wipe the potato off of her. Fingers? Okay, we're gonna do it. Let's try it in like five minutes. Do you have one more kind of play though? No. So even the program starts, they have to be tight, so they have to take. So by the time I'm dally, they have to try it, that's it. What time is it? Okay, so I told them to keep it out until two. So they, if they, yeah, yeah. So when they come in, you can just tell them. I think she wants to go home. <laughs> Look, she wants to go home. Mama, you think you're starving? Look at you look pretty. You're not going to die. Oh, no. If she wants to go home. <laughs> Let's take her for a walk. She's yeah, starting now. She wants to go. I saw her fish. Sophia, um, yeah, Kika is is uh, an Islamic tradition that is confirmed by the Prophet. It's a tradition that was passed down from, I believe, you, you can correct me if, 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 I'm, if I'm wrong, I believe it was passed down from, from the Prophet Abraham at some point, and the Prophet confirmed it, and it's, it's Sunnah, which means it's one of the things that the Prophet confirmed that as Muslims we should do thank Allah for our blessings. So with that, I'll pass you guys over to the uh, Sheikh Samir. He'll be uh, conducting the program a little later on. So thank you all for having me.
السلام عليكم ان شاء الله يستعجل القران كلام الله هو الله عز وجل ما يفوتش الشيخ نعيم ان شاء الله في الترانزليت مؤمنين ان شاء الله بسم الله بسم الله ان شاء الله ان I'm going to study the Quran, I'm going to study Surah number 31, number 31, they call it Surah Luqman. Inshallah, later on when I, my time to speech, I'm going to say more about this Surah and why I choose it. Inshallah, Allah will give benefit to people from this. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajeem بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وإذ قال لقمان لابنه وهو يعظه يا بني يا بني لا تشرك بالله إن الشرك لظلم عظيم ووصينا الإنسان بوالديه حملته أمه حملته أمه وهنا على وهن وفصاله في عامين أن اشكر لي ولوالديك إلي المصير وإن جاهداك على أن تشرك بما ليس لك به علم فلا تطعهما وصاحبهما في الدنيا معروفا واتبع سبيل من أناب إلي ثم إلي مرجعكم فأنبئكم بما كنتم تعملون يا بني إن قال حبة من خردل فتكون في صخرة فتكون في صخرة أو في السماوات أو في الأرض يأتي بها الله إن الله لطيف خبير يا بني أقم الصلاة وأمر بالمعروف وانهى عن المنكر واصبر على ما أصابك إن ذلك من عزم الأمور صدق الله العظيم
I will be reading the translation of what Sheikh just read. And remember when Luqman said unto his son, when he was exhorting him, O oh, my dear son, ascribe no partners unto Allah. Lo, to ascribe partners unto him is a tremendous wrong. And we have enjoined upon man concerning his parents, his mother bereath him in weakness upon weakness. And weaning is in two years. Give thanks unto me and unto thy parents. Unto me is the journeying. But if they strive with thee to make thee ascribe unto me as partner that of which thou hast no knowledge, then obey them not. Consort with them in the world kindly, and follow the path of him who repineth unto me. Then unto me will be your return, and I shall tell you what ye used to do. O oh, my dear son, will though it be, be but the weight of a grain of mustard seed, and though it be in a rock, or the heavens, or in the earth, Allah will bring it forth. Lo, Allah is subtile aware. O oh, my dear son, establish worship and order what's good and forbid what's evil, and preserve whatever may befall thee. Lo, that is of the steadfast heart of things. Turn not thy cheek in scorn toward folk, nor walk with pertness in the land. Lo, Allah loveth not each braggareth boaster. Be modest in thy bearing and subdue thy voice. Lo, the harshest of all voices is the voice of the donkey. Marakalafiq. Assalamu alaikum. Everyone can hear me fine? Yes. Good? Okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salam ala Sayyidina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi al-tayyibin al-tahirin Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen I start in the name of Allah The one who is merciful to the believers And non-believers in this life And only merciful to the believers in the hereafter Praise be to Allah The Lord of the universe The one who created everything and everything belongs to Him. Allah is the one who is eternal and everlasting. He has no beginning and no end. He existed when nothing existed. As the Prophet وسلم, said, Allah existed and nothing existed other than Him. That means that Allah existed before places, before time, before people, before jinn, before angels, before trees rocks, this earth, the skies. He existed before darkness and light. Allah said, Praise be to Allah, the one who created the skies and earth, and he made darkness and light. Allah existed before everything. He is the one who is attributed with attributes of perfection unlike the attributes of the creation, which are imperfect. Allah does not resemble the creation in any way, and that is the meaning of the ayah, لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٍ Scholars said, whatever you imagine in your mind, Allah is different from that. Anything that you imagine, your imagination itself is a creation, and therefore Allah would not resemble that. All creations have limits. And that is why they are imperfect. As for Allah, He has no limits. He is not attributed with the attributes of creation, and He has no limits. He is not in a place, nor is He a body. Because a body is what occupies a space. And He is the, one, he is the creator of all the bodies in all places. Allah said in the Quran, Ya ayyuha alladheena amanu ku anfusakum wa ahlikum naran wa quduha al-nasu wa al-hijara Which means, Allah says, O you who believe, protect and warn yourselves and your family 
from the fire. The fire was fueled by people and stones. All right, that is the hellfire. The hellfire is fueled by people and stones. That is how hot the hellfire is. And in this ayah, Allah says, protect and warn yourselves and your family. Notice that he says protect yourselves and then your family. Because how can you protect your family if you're in harm? If you don't know how to protect yourself, how can you protect others? So it is an obligation on every single Muslim to learn what is obligatory on you. The belief in Allah and His Messenger, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. To learn about your obligations, the prayers, and how to pray them, the fasting, when to fast, and how to fast. To learn about zakat, do you have to pay zakat, how much do you pay zakat, and who do you pay zakat to, and so on. It's also an obligation on you to learn what Allah may prohibit unto you. To learn about what is haram. So you can stay away from it. Because how can you stay away from something if you don't know what it is? So first, it's an obligation on yourself to learn this knowledge. To seek this knowledge and acquire it and implement it. Then it's an obligation on you to teach your children and your family. Now, as Muslims, we teach our kids. We teach them from a young age. So that they can grow up to be upright and straight and on the right path. And then our brothers, Yusuf and Ramadan, they will mention some of the things that is obligatory on their children to learn, on us to teach our children. So again, brother Yusuf and Ramadan, come up here. We teach our children this from a young age so that they learn the correct creed and grow up on that. Assalamu alaikum. I'm a No, may Allah guide us and you that it is obligatory upon every accountable person to know that Allah is the only God in his dominion. Allah created the entire world, both the upper and lower, the arch and kursi, the hands and earth, and what is in them and in between them. All the creation are subjugated by his power, no speck moving except by his will. Allah has no manager for the creation with him and has no partner in dominion. Allah has the attributes of life in his qiyum. Allah is not seized by salaries or sleep. Allah is the one who knows about the unforeseen and what is evidenced by his creation. Nothing on earth or in heaven is hidden from him. He knows what is on land and in the sea, not a leaf does fall, but he knows about it. There is no grain in the darkness of earth, nor anything which is moist or dry, but is inscribed in a clear book. The knowledge of Allah encompasses everything. He knows the count of all things. Allah has does whatever He wills. He has the power to do whatever He wills. To Allah is the dominion. To Allah is the dominion, and He needs none. To Him belong the glory and everlastingness. And everlastingness. To Him are the ruling and the creating. Allah has Allah has the names of perfection. No one hinders what He decrees. No one hinders what, what Allah has declared, and no one prevents what he gives. Allah does in his dominion whatever he wills. Allah rules his creation with whatever he wills. Allah does not hope for reward and does not fear punishment. There is no right on him that is binding, and no one exercises rule over him. Every endowment from him is due to his generosity, and every punishment from him is just. Allah is not questioned about what he does, but they are questioned. Allah exists Allah existed before the creation. He does not have an he does not have an before or an after, an above or below, a right or a left, and in front of or behind, a whole or a part. It must not be said when when was Allah, where was Allah, and or who is Allah. Allah existed without a place. He created the universe and will for the existence of time. He is not bound to time and is not and is not designated with place. 
Allah man and man of one matter does not distract him from another. Allah is subjugated. Allah is not subjugated to, to delusions. He is not encompassed or con, or convinced or convened in the mind. He is he's neither formed in imagination nor pictured in delusions. He is not fashioned in the mind. He is he is not grasped by he is not grasped by delusions or thoughts. Laysa kamithlihi shay huwa samir basir. There is absolutely nothing like Allah whatsoever, and He has the attributes of hearing and sight. Barakallahu for the youth who are brave enough up here to come and read that. So what they just read, there will be a paper passed around. This is what you teach your children from a young age. This is, what is obligatory, this is what is obligatory on you to teach your children and to teach yourselves first, like I mentioned. Now, the Aqiqa is for the children. And I mentioned that it's obligatory on us to teach the children. The Prophet wasallam said, مَا مِنْ مَوْلُودٍ إِلَّا يُلْقَى Which means that all the children that are born are born except that they are born with the fitra, which means they are born with the readiness to believe, with the readiness to embrace Islam, with the readiness to believe in Tawheed, that there is only one God. This is the meaning of the hadith, that all the children are born with fitra, the readiness to believe. Now there's a misunderstanding about this hadith, especially for the English speakers. Because they when they translated, they misunderstood the word fitra and they say that all children are born Muslim. And this isn't correct. Children aren't born Muslim, rather they are born with the readiness to believe. Because the children are like empty cups. Right? Whatever you teach them, they accept it. The children are like empty cups or empty containers. Whatever you put inside the cup or container, they accept it. If you put something pure, like water or honey, the cup accepts it. And if you put something filthy, like alcohol or blood, the cup accepts that also. So whatever you teach your children, that is what they accept and that's what they grow up on. So it's important for us to teach our children what is correct from a young age. Sahih ibn Hibban, it is mentioned that the Prophet's companion Abu Hurairah, he asked the Prophet, to teach him something, to teach him and guide him to something that if he were to do it, he would enter paradise. And the Prophet وسلم, said to him, The Prophet told him to feed people. Right? There's a reward in feeding people. Even if they're poor or rich, there's still reward in it. Then the Prophet said to obey your parents. And then the Prophet said to pray at night when people are normally sleeping. If you do these things, you will enter paradise with ease. So the Prophet told him to obey your parents. Because there's great reward in this. This is one of the most rewardable things you can do in this life. I remember this advice here is for myself and for the children and anyone who has parents. I ask Allah to grant us all paradise at the highest level, a jannah to and to forgive us, forgive us all for our sins. Yeah. Now, we'll move on to Sheikh Samir, who has prepared a speech for us, and some beneficial works. Assalamu alaikum. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Afdalu salati wa atamu salam. على خير المرسلين سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم. My name is Samir or Sheikh Samir. I've been known, mashallah, this family for a long time. I say mubarak to brother Asif and sister Yasmin for mashallah beautiful kids they have. I thank Allah Azza wa Jal. They want to do aqiqa. They want to do for them kids what they love for themselves to know about our religion, Islam. Because I was afraid I was teaching Zach a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mashallah, listen. Mm -hmm. 
الحمد لله ان شاء الله ميك شور ان شاء الله وراي ذا بيجينينج از ا تشابتر فروم ذا قران ذس كولت سوره لقمان لقمان از نو باي ذا وايز مان هي از ا كنه فيري فيموس باي وايز مان يكون لقمان سو الله عز وجل بوت هيز نيم ان ذا هولي قران and put the surah under his name so the surah called luqman under the name of the wise man is the surah number 31 in the quran so if we need to advise others what we're looking for we're looking for the man who could give us the good advice and make it short and fast and that's what the one we ask so Allah Azza wa Jal mentioned in the Quran in Ayah 12 to Ayah 19 so inshallah later on you guys search about it more Surah number 31 Ayah 12 or 13 to 19 so Luqman al-Hakim Luqman the wise man the first thing he advised his son and he said in the Quran oh my son so imagine when I say something to my kids like, you know, in, in love way, say, oh, my son, please, or like, you know, I wish for you, this and this. The first thing, Luqman in the Quran advised his son, قَالَ يَا بُنَيَّ لَا تُشْرِكْ بِاللَّهِ إِنَّ الشِّرْكَ لَظُلْمٌ عَظِيمٌ The first advice, and the important advice, from Luqman to his son, oh, son, don't make partners with Allah Azza wa Jal. That's the, the, the big advice for Luqman to his son. Now in his time days, what's going on over there? Allah knows best. But his advice was to his son, don't make partner with Allah Azza wa Jal. Because he loved his son, whatever he loved to himself. So he wanted him to be raised in right way. Brother and sister, let me say like this. Islam is the religion of all of the Prophet and Messenger. You find in Islam, in the Quran, you find about Moses, about Jesus, about Adam, Abraham, Jacob, all of them in this book. All of them they mention in nice way, in right way. There is nothing wrong about any messenger by mentioning him if saying something bad about him in the Quran. Because as Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, say, all of the messenger before me and till me, we're all brothers. So that's easy. So when somebody say, okay, I'm not Muslim, but I'm this. I say, let's say for example, but Jesus was the brother of Muhammad. I say, how? Because they have one God. It's easy. Muhammad, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, all of them, they're brothers. That's what I believe. That's what the Quran say. I have to believe they all as brothers. One message. What the message is, worship one God. That's it. The message is so easy, so clear. It's not hard to worship one God. Don't worship a human being. Don't worship stone, do worship anything else except the God. Who is God? He's the one who create everything. The God, the one who has the power to bring everything from not exist to exist. Don't bring something. It exists already and told me, I'm worship this, this is my God. No. The only one who could do to bring something from not exist to exist is only God. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second advice to his son is respect your parents, mom and dad, respect them. Even, he says in the Quran, even your parents, they're not Muslim. They say like, you know, Ya Bunaya, wa in jahadaka ala an tushrika bima laysa laka bihi ilm fala tutu'huma wa sahibhuma fi dunya ma'rufa. Which means is, oh my son, respect your parents, love them, but if they push you or ask you to do something Allah never said in the Quran don't listen to them but be friend with them that's the Quran say which means is, be friend with them be uh, respect them love them be with them but with this part just do, don't listen to them Say, let's say, mom and dad, I can't do this. I can't do this. If that's against your belief. But in other way, 
Allah Azza wa Jalla, in a lot of surah in the Quran, a lot of ayah, after say worship me, you say respect your parents. In in, in couple I know, in different chapter, after God, you say mother and father. In a lot of place in the Quran, after in the name of Allah, respect your mom and dad. So Allah Azza wa Jalla in the Quran make it for us to respect our parents even if they're not in the same because somebody could let's say he wasn't muslim become muslim or somebody like you know uh, have some family is not so we're not come here to fight we bring the message of peace the people fight the ignorant people from different group because you know they don't have the wisdom to say let me tell you a small story a guy he's a taxi cab so that's happened in, in Jordan. So he says something, make him exit Islam, he curse God. So the guy told him, like, you know, what you doing? You become non-Muslim. He said, don't worry. He said, but you go to hit five. He said, I want to go. So like, you know, don't advise me. I'm going. So that guy, he stopped. He said, subhanAllah, what I can do? That guy, he, he didn't want to go to Jannah. He tried to say, like, you know, don't say it. You go to hit five. He said, no, no, no. I'm going. I know. So don't advise me. We're not like this. Every day we have to be nice with people so you could give the right message. Mom. You could say the important thing to the people. But the important thing is to believe in one God. This is like my advice. This is what you know, we took from the Quran. Just make it simple. Allah is one without partner. Nobody help him. He don't need nothing. He's a creator and we all worship him. And last thing I want to say about the kids. If we don't teach ourselves because before our kids, we'll never like, you know, get to the point. Uh, Imam Ali, you know, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam know, cousin, and he's also married his daughter, Fatima. His cousin say, the one who teach the kids, he should teach himself before he teach the kids. We all like, you know, I don't go like, you know, as a sheikh or somebody. I teach myself or let's say somebody teach me after. So it doesn't mean like, you know, if your parents or you don't have knowledge, you have to wait. Study, learn, and teach others. But for the kids now, we're not saying, oh, let's say the same mistake, for example. For example, the same mistake, let's say our parents did before. They never teach us. So what we do? We keep doing this to our kids? No. Alhamdulillah, now a lot of mosques now, a lot of people could teach. Uh, there is a lot of, let's say, good website, you could go and see, even in the paper, I best talk to the people, they have a, a good, like, two websites in the bar, you could see uh, a lot of things, you could, I must say teach, because you need a teacher to teach, but you could read, in the, you could read from this website, a lot of things, a lot of answers for a question if you have. So, inshallah, you know, we all get benefit, and we, everybody loves to other to be like him. So, the Jannah, there's two places in the, of God to create in the end. There's a hellfire and there's paradise. So there's no third place. That's in the Quran. Allah says, Farikul fi jannati wa farikul fi sa'id. In the end, there is two places. And everybody say that. The one who will say, worship this, this cup, he say, oh, if you don't believe in this, you go to the hellfire. Something like, you know, they have different, different belief in the earth. But as a Muslim say, what God say, in the end, there is two places, hellfire, or paradise. You worship one God. You listen to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and what he say, and everything Prophet Muhammad say is the truth, and it's heaven or will happen. And every day we find a lot of things Prophet Muhammad said, it's heaven, and we'll have it in the future again. So if you listen to to the message, inshallah, you become like you know from the people go to the Jannah. If you're not, it's up to you. Nobody like you know will go with you, or nobody will help you to do what you have to do. In the end, inshallah, may Allah Azza wa Jal protect this family. Inshallah, may Allah raise the kids in the right way as the mom and dad love for them to raise them, uh, you know, inshallah, very, very good Muslim. Warakallah fikum, and thank you for inviting me. Okay, inshallah.
Okay, assalamu alaikum to everyone and all. Today is a special day for my granddaughters. We love them very much and we want to show them this is our way of life. We give thanks to Allah because He's the only one who can give us family and children. Our gratitude is to them and hopefully they can live their life in the Islamic way. They are well dressed today. We had a sheep done yesterday. So we give them a life and thankful to Allah for saving their life and give them good health. Also the occasion is also to bless every member of this family. We share this thought so that they can all know that in time to come and at the end of it all, we must return to the Creator. We start at the beginning in birth, and as we grow, we gain knowledge. As we gain knowledge, we also implement policy that God wants us, Allah wants us to implement on the face of the planet. He is in charge. He is the only one that gives us the strength and understanding. Without Him, we are nothing. So today, I take this opportunity to thank Asif and his wife and the three beautiful children. If my grandkids were a little bigger, they would have taken the stage from us. You can see they're lining up there, strong as a rock, especially Zachary and Brandon and the soldier boy there. So once again, in the interest of humanity and the interest of all of us, let us strike in the path of Sarat al -Mustakim. Thank you very much. something to say. And who don't happen to say, well, I think life is useless. Um, Thank you. 
Yes, right up there, how is the soda? Come. That's Sprite there, would you like Sprite? That's Sprite. What would you, I think he wants orange. Orange soda? Yeah. Ice or no ice? Ice or no ice? Ice, okay. Good job. Say thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Good job, big boy. Okay, so you just gotta ask, okay? She doesn't want it anymore, we. It was Melissa one, right? Melissa, no, no. She, she doesn't wear it. She doesn't wear it? No. Let me tell her. She say thank you. Titi? Auntie said you can have it. Melissa doesn't wear it. I don't wear those. Huh? Oops, sorry. Say thank you. Oh, okay, everybody come on this side before you step on the glass.
touch it. Just leave it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Leave it like that.
Okay, you're in front of it. He, okay, he, move over. he put this in ice cream and then he dropped it on the floor. Okay. So kids can ice cream. What, what if somebody said something on the microphone? Oh, what if somebody, no? What if yeah. somebody just said on the microphone? Oh, yeah. Rock or chop. Have you seen the pill? Rock or chop or Have you seen my egg? Yeah. Have you seen my egg? Yeah. You love Minecraft? Yeah. 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 You love Minecraft? Yeah. 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 Put all of us in our clothes because we didn't get any.